guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you stopped by today because today we are going to be doing something a little bit different. I mean, I've done painting videos before, but today we are going to be doing a digital art drawing. We'll see how you guys like it. Main reason I'm doing this is because I'm in the process of moving and I don't really have a workspace available right now. So for now, we are going to be doing some drawing videos. And once I get resettled at the new place, we'll start back up on the art doll videos. Hopefully no one really minds and you guys get to see a different type of art that I end up doing. Anyways, let's get started. So my first idea for our Sweet Tooth Gargoyle was to actually have him in the basic gargoyle stance where he's on top of a building looking down and kind of make him look a little bit creepy but with that sugary kind of theme to him. But as I was sketching out the layout, I really didn't like how it was looking. I think it was his ears. It was just kind of throwing off the position. So I decided to go with more of a front facing position so you can really see the detail of his face and ears. I thought it just looked better with him. This way we could also add more of a background. Maybe we'll throw in some candy and stuff at the end. Once I got my rough sketch figured out, I threw in a picture of the original doll. That way I could use the little eyedropper tool and take all the colors that I wanted to use. I'm going to adjust some of these a little bit because they're going to be a little bit more muted because of using the eyedropper tool and I want to make them pretty bright. But I'm going to get my color palette just from the original photo of the doll and then I'm going to start filling in the different areas with the color that I want. Now with digital drawing, I'm still trying to figure out the style that I like to work with. Um, I originally was an oil painter. I still oil paint every now and again. I need to start it back up, but I want to try and have my pieces have a very similar feel. So even though I have my basic outline sketch, I kind of want to just use this as a guide and not have it involved in the final picture. So I'll end up kind of turning it on and off and that way I can see what I'm actually doing, but I have it overlaid so I can figure out where the lines are supposed to go. And uh, that's basically why it keeps flickering on and off and looking a little weird is I'm just trying to use it as a reference of where I need to add shadows and different stuff like that. Again, I'm pretty new to digital drawing. I've only been doing it here and there when I have spare time at night. Um, also, I switched over to Clip Studio Paint to have better software to work with, and I'm still trying to figure out where everything is. It's, it's a software that does a lot more than the free software that I started off with, so I'm still learning the ropes. An example of this is I didn't realize I could export the time lapse without the watermark. So next time I'll probably do that because I don't really like how it looks. At least you guys can see which software I'm using, but um, yeah, I, I would have rather not had that on there. Instead, just let you guys know which software I use. If you guys wanted to know which brushes I was mainly using, um, mostly for the filler and some of the line work, I was using the G pen. And then for more of a painty kind of scratchy texture, I was using the gouache paintbrush. And the airbrush that I was using was mainly just the soft one. And then for blending, I was using both the blending tool and the blurring tool a little bit. I did use a couple of the special effect type brushes, mainly at the very end when I was working on the background, which you'll see at the end. <laughs> but I did use um, the leaves, the ground effect, and then the cloud one. But for like what I'm currently working on now, I think the only real special effect one I used was the glitter for the kind of pink hair framing his head. Thank you. 
But yeah, I've been really enjoying drawing a lot of my characters. I think next video we could do something original. If you like it, we can end up making it into an art doll, kind of doing the reverse of what we're doing now. But um, if you guys wanted to see some of the other sketches, I'll throw up on the screen um, a few of my other creatures that I've drawn. Um, this is before switching over to not using really a line work style, so some of them are a little bit more basic, and they were done with the free software that I was practicing with. So. I think I'm doing a lot better on this one than I did on the previous pieces, but again, still learning and stuff, and I feel like I'm getting closer to finding my actual style with this medium. But yeah, if you guys have any suggestion on what you want to see me draw next or in the future, um, we'll probably continue to do some of these videos even when I get back to doing the art dolls just because I really want to start doing it a little bit more. Maybe we'll even start back up on oil painting. It really depends. Um, I'll have a lot more available once I have my new studio set up. I'm really excited and hopefully we can just throw out a bunch more different type of videos. It's gonna feel so weird having an entire room. Actually, if we get the apartment that we're trying for, I'll have an entire floor. Um, granted, it's just the bedroom, bathroom, and a closet or two, but it'll still feel really nice having an entire floor to myself. Um, I just won't know what to do with myself. <laughs> too much room. <laughs> For the first little bit, it'll probably be a disaster because I'll need to invest in proper tables because I've never had to buy a table for my art. It's just been this little built-in nook in my kitchen. So it'll be a disaster for a bit and then I'll invest in getting everything set up properly so it looks really cool. And of course, I'll end up doing a studio tour so you guys can see everything once I have it the way I like it. There are a few different things I want to get into once we get settled at the new studio. One is I want to get an airbrusher. Um, I've seen a lot of people using them to make their art dolls and to paint the fur fabric and I really want to give it a try. And then the next one is I really want to get a 3D printer. I thought it'd be so much fun to make more detailed things, more fragile things than um, I normally can with clay and stuff. Plus we can make multiple things really fast, so it opens up a ton for making art dolls and other stuff. But yeah, if you guys have any suggestions on different art mediums you want me to start working in, um, anything new you want me to try with art dolls, or really anything, because um, we can try and get into a lot more complicated stuff now that I have the space for it. Okay guys, so I think I'm done for today. Hopefully you liked our little sugary sweet character that I drew. Um, maybe next time around I won't base anything off of an art doll or anything. I'll just do an original character, draw something fun out, just random, I don't know. I'll figure it out, but again, we might only have like one or more videos like this until I get my move done. If you guys like these videos, I'll continue them, but in the meantime my plan is to just start back up on the art doll videos once I get my studio reset up in the new place. But anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.